welcome to another video. I am Debbie. Today I am going to be whipping and chatting. I am going to be working on my work in progress here and this is a diamond painting conversion and from a cross stitch pattern. I am going to be using Pattern Keeper and that's why I have my tablet here. This is the second time that I've done this. I started doing this last week so I'll put the playlist up at the top of the eye up here, and that way you will be able to see me kidding up this particular project and also um, see how much that I've done. I've gotten some done this week, not a whole lot. I didn't think that I would just because of me working so hard on my Fly Me to the Moon, my Josephine Wall diamond painting. So let me go ahead and get started. And thanks to those of you um, that have either sent me a message or you put in the comments that you would like to see more like this. I really do appreciate it. And this is going to also help me. That way I'm able to work on this more. And I did spend a little bit of time this week on a few of the actual sections. I'm kind of sideways here, so I hope that's going to be okay. And for those of you that don't know what I'm doing, this is a cross stitch pattern that has been converted into a diamond painting. I purchased all of my materials through Evermoment and I really do like their drills in the canvas. I, it's the first one I had purchased from them, but I've heard really good things about that company and thought, well, I will give it a try. And I'm really glad that I did. I'm not sure how many sections I'll get done because this is not easy trying to talk and do this but I have an idea of what I want to do to talk, what to, to talk to you guys. One thing is that I completed, I did a kitten chat this week and also my normal whipping chat. So I wasn't really sure like what am I going to talk about and decided that I'm going to go through or attempt to go through on my computer, so you might see it in the background a little bit, go through my computer, and I'm going to go through some of the comments that you guys have made, um, starting with my April 1st Whippin' Chats. Let's see. I probably should have gotten my reading glasses. The sun was out. It was just really nice. And then I got everything set up, looked really good, started to record, and now the sun has gone in. So uh, hopefully I will not have a problem. It'll be okay. Okay, let me get this started and then we can get caught up. And I have had some of you ask me about Pattern Keeper and if Pattern Keeper would actually work for other diamond paintings. And really it is just meant for the cross stitch conversions. So it would not work if you wanted to use it for other diamond paintings, you would need to have something like this where you have a blank canvas. I need to fill up my little pots too. I guess I should have done that before I got on here, but I have plenty right now. Looks like so far there actually are several of these in one area, which is really good because when I was working on it the other day, it was absolutely crazy because there were so many colors like maybe one color in a six block range okay let me I'm going to get started on this 
So how have you guys been? I know it hasn't been very long since I had my last whip and chat. The whip and chat that I have on Tuesdays, that's where I will discuss about my family, how things have been going, that kind of thing. And so I wanted something different on this one. So I thought, what better way than to go through my comments? Now I've already on my comments, I have already gone through and answered all of those, but I thought it would be nice to also go on here and answer in case some of you probably don't go through and just read comments. And I'm really enjoying this because it's finally starting to look like something. Because at first when I started doing this, it looked like nothing. And I was a little worried. I thought maybe I've done something wrong, but I didn't do anything wrong. It's just there really wasn't anything to look at. Okay, I need one more that I missed. That goes right here. And of course, I do this every single time. I just put a new glue dot in. So I'm trying to get it to release. There it goes. Okay. Once I finish this one, then I'm going to go in and put that other one in that I missed. So I am really enjoying this. I think it's going to be really good to add to my channel and add this to a playlist. And it's also going to help me because I'm only at 3%, which isn't exactly the best thing. I'm going to go down one. I am probably going to have to get my reading glasses. Okay, this is good. I have contacts on and usually I'm okay with them, but trying to read this tablet is not easy. It is a really pretty day today here. It's a little windy. Well, it is pretty windy, but it is a little chilly. In the sun, it feels glorious, but when you're not in the sun or when the clouds pop, start to pop out like it's going to pour down rain, then it starts to get really chilly again. We're supposed to have a nice day on Saturday. Today's Friday for me, so a Saturday for you if you watch this whenever I first recorded it. There's a lot of these. That's good. It would be really nice if I have several the same color. Alrighty, and then one at number nine. Someone did ask me on this, they said it doesn't, this looks like poured glue. And yes, this is poured glue. We're back to 300 and I missed that one. I'm going to go ahead and put that one in there. Which was three. right there okay okay so now I'm gonna go down here there's not any three tens and I actually did get a little holder for my tablet which has made it really nice so it's not flat I can see it a lot better, which is really important. Um, let's see, that one goes there. Okay, I'm gonna get to my computer and it just 
wants me to log in again, of course. Okay, I'm going to go down to the bottom here. Um, let's see, Tammy says, hey, Debbie, your diamond painting, Fly Me to the Moon, is going to be so pretty. This is from Whip and Chat number 51, which was around April the 2nd. And so I've gotten quite a bit more done since then. Here's one I just used. What was that number? 310, 372. And I am really working hard on that one, I have to say. I've been spending a lot of time on that one. It's going to be extremely pretty. It is confetti heavy, but it's really funny because I was thinking about this this morning when I was working on it before I had to go into the office. But with the Fly Me to the Moon, I was going in there, I was working on it, I was real excited to be doing it, and then it just hit me. I thought, now why is this so much different than my Josephine Wall Diana? Because that one, I did not think I would ever get that one finished. And I'd work on it for a little bit and then I would stop. And so I couldn't figure out what was the difference in that one and this one. And so now that I was thinking about it, the difference really, I need to move all these over one. The difference was, or is, that with Fly Me to the Moon, I have sectioned it off. I'm working on it in small sections, and I'm finishing a section before I open up another section. And on Diana, I didn't do that. And so I think part of the problem with Diana was that I would work on a section and then I would open up another section and start looking at other colors. And so I started having a problem with that because I got confused on the colors. It's like, okay, I've done some of this section, I've done some of this section, and it never looked like I was getting very far because I was doing it mainly by color. And I realized that that wasn't working very well for me, and I stopped doing that. So once I stopped doing that and I started working on the way that I'm doing it now, it has really made a difference. It's going by faster and I am seeing progress and apparently that's what I have to see. If I don't see progress, then I am not going to like working on it. And I think that was a big problem that I was having with Diana is the fact that I didn't see progress because I was just working on colors and doing it that way is it's not it looked good it made it it seemed like it made it go faster until it didn't if that makes sense where I am Doing this at an angle is not easy. So I'm thinking that I am really enjoying flying Fly Me to the Moon for that reason. Also, it Fly Me to the Moon has had some color blocking. And with Diana, there wasn't any color blocking. I mean, none whatsoever. And that was really hard not to have any color blocking. And this one I have some, not a lot but there's some. All right, so let's see the next one. Um, let's see. Oh, and Tammy also said, congrats to you and your student for the win. That was when my student had won state. And so that was really cool. And now we are getting ready and preparing to go to nationals. And so that is going to be very interesting. We haven't done nationals before, so I'm not really sure what to expect. And we're just taking it day by day on things that's required that we have to do for nationals. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this one little section here. 
hope my head's not in the camera. If it is, I'll have to do something about that. Let me get this one in here. There we go. All right. That was a lot of work. Um, let's see. The next one is from Lone. And Lone says, thank you so much for a great whip and chat. I love diamond painting when the moon is out. And also said, I love the diamond paint when the moon is out. So that was um, two of the, the same, just the same sentences. That was from the whip and chat where I had the special code was moon. And that was for the Josephine wall paint um, for when we did the Josephine wall or during the event and also for a prize. And so definitely be looking out every week and we will announce who will be doing the prizes for that week. I haven't done a prize in a couple of weeks because we are rotating. Okay, the next one is Elizabeth says, congratulations to the young lady and um, wants to know what I teach. Um, says that um, she is ADHD and do you work with those students differently? And really good questions. Um, from Elizabeth, um, also asking what I teach, I teach accounting and I have taught management classes. I've taught a variety of courses, but I teach at a local college. And I can teach management. I have a degree in management. I also have a PhD in management, so I can teach either management or accounting. And most of the time I am teaching accounting. Right now um, we had to decide what we wanted to teach, if we wanted to teach accounting or if we wanted to teach management. And so I opted to teach accounting. I like accounting a lot better. And so I think that I will teach accounting now until I end up retiring, which will not be for a while. It'll be a long time actually before I'm able to retire. And with ADHD students, I like to decide on my students how I'm going to teach. I teach different methods based on the students that are in my class. That um, has really helped me. And I feel that each student is going to be different. And if I have to change how I teach depending on a you know, particular student or depending on if I have, if I'm teaching something and then it is very clear that my students do not understand what I'm talking about, then I know that if the majority of them don't understand that I need to change how I teach. And so I do have different methods and I will change right in the middle of a lecture if I have to. Just depends on, you know, if the student needs me to. And my students are really good about asking questions. They do not shy away from asking questions, which is good. There was one class this semester where they were really quiet. They didn't want to ask much. And I finally got them to start opening up towards the middle of the semester. And they, uh, it became a really good class. But it took them a while for them to really get comfortable to start talking. And that happens sometimes. Sometimes you have classes and they are like very, very chatty. And other times you have classes where none of them will say anything. But once you get one or two started, then the other two will start chiming in and they will also um, start in. So it just takes you know, one student really to get the class rolling. And then some classes are really fun and others, you know, it's just really quiet. Um, let's see. From a Tijuana Crafter, 
Fly Me to the Moon is a beautiful canvas. I'm working on Virgo Full Crystal from Uniquely Yours Down Under. I would love to work on a full crystal. I have not done that. Um, I know that Uniquely Yours Down Under does a lot of crystal canvases, and I would love to do a Josephine Wall one, but they have been moving and they've had some other things going on. And so every time that I go to look at their website, their website is either closed or they're closed for business, you know, right at that particular time. And so I really have not looked to see if they're open again, but I eventually want to do a full crystal. I think that would be a lot of fun, whether it's Josephine wall or maybe it's something else. But I think that would be a lot of fun. I have thought about using one of canvases that I have and just buying crystals for it and do a full crystal, but that may end up being a little bit pricey. So I don't know if I will be able to do that or not. Okay, let's go over here. And then Hartana says, I'm actually working on what lies beneath for Dakotathon. Since I don't have any J wall kits, I'll still be watching all of y'all's videos, though it's nice that creators have so many different events, so there's something for everyone. I love that. Yes, there are so many events, and you know, I am not sad or mad or anything like that if you are not part of our event. The, the event is not for everybody. There are some content creators that are good friends of mine that, you know, they have events going on and it's like, okay, I, I will, you know, support you. I will watch your videos, but it's just not something that I'm interested in. And so, you know, they all understand. And besides that, there are so many events that there's no way it would be I would say it would be impossible. Maybe you could do it. And if you can, that would be awesome. But I think it'd be really difficult to be able to work on every event because you would have to make sure that you have kits that would fit everything, or you may have several kits going and I have two or three going and that's about all that I can handle at one time. Because then I start working on one and then I neglect the other ones that I have. And so that is not good either. Gosh, where are all the... All right, 612. Let's see. And then we have... Jennifer says, what a great video. I do love the Fly Me to the Moon painting also. Great choice. And there are some others that are doing this video, this video, oh goodness, there are some that are doing this, that particular canvas. And so that's really fun. I haven't seen it completed. So every time that I complete a section, I have to step back and I see something different, which I think is really fun. I didn't even realize I was starting to see her face and on my painting and I was really surprised. I stepped back. I'm like, oh, well, that's what that is. But when you're right up close, it's like you can't really see it. But as soon as you step back, it's really fun because you can start seeing animals and different things that you didn't know was even there. And I'm always finding something different when I'm looking back at any of my Josephine Wall canvases. It's like, oh, I didn't know that was there. And I'm doing the same thing with Diana and she's been done for a while. Okay, why won't you? I may have lost my glue dot. Let's see. Okay, one of these days, I am not going to have my glue dot right there. Okay, that did go through. All right. Yeah, one of these days, I will make sure that I'm not using a new glue dot, but it never fails that I need one. I don't understand that. All right, so now. Let me see what we have now. Let's see. Tracy says, great whip and chat. I love to fly. I love to fly to the moon and diamond paint. So that's really cool. Um, let's see. 
we have Carol. Carol says, thanks so much. Your Fly Me to the Moon is going to be so gorgeous. I love this one. I have a thing for anything that contains trees or a moon. So I love it. Yeah, this one definitely, or that one I should say, definitely um, is a huge moon. And I did mention on my kitten chat on Thursday, first time I've used this color, yay, finally get a new color in, that I have a moon thing going on, and I don't even really mean to, it just kind of happened, which I think is really funny. But I had finished Diana. Diana is moon goddess, and also had you know, a huge moon, and then I had the, um, my one I'm working on, Fly Me to the Moon. So that one, of course, is a moon. And then I have with the one that I have just kitted up, that one is called the moon. So that was really funny that it's, it's called the moon and... Didn't mean for it to happen that way. It just did. So I have kind of a moon theme going on. Let's see. Got one. This is what gets a little aggravating is that when I'm doing this and there's just one. I really hoped I get on some of this where I can get faster where I'm having several drills on one section. I don't know why I poured all those when I needed one. Okay, the next one says from Jewels of Joy. I had a hard time deciding between Fly Me to the Moon and Call of the Sea. I can definitely see why you would have that problem, Jules, because both of those are gorgeous. I couldn't decide on that one either. I have, I do not have um, Call of the Sea, but it is on my wish list, and I almost bought it before. I got another one. I was between that one and another one and ended up just keeping that in my wish list for now. Oh, good. 780's got several. That's nice. Okay, so now the next one is from Billy. And Billy says, your painting is going to be stunning. I'm doing Spirit of Flight from Diamond Art Club. Sounds like busy times for you. I hate being away from diamond painting. I have a JBG I want to do that is big and that has a moon in it. I think DP with sparklers, gold drills would be beautiful. I will keep my ear open regarding the Cheryl Baker event. Have one want to work on. Awesome. With JBG, that's Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, I have a few of those. I love Jasmine Be Beckett Griffith's um, paintings. Those are the um, big eyes. That's what a lot of people like to call them. They um, are those girls that have the big eyes. And you're going to see probably more and more of JBGs because she has put several of hers out in the um, domain where others can actually go in and they can use her paintings without having authorization. They don't have to be legally licensed. So sometimes that makes it you know, easier on a lot of companies because they don't have to get permission. And as far as the Cheryl Baker event, I have a friend of mine that is doing that event and I think it's going to be in September. So that is going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to that one. I have a Cheryl Baker I want to do. And it's also going to work out perfectly for um, the, a couple of other ones. So I'll be able to do that one plus another one. And that's going to be very, very nice that I can do two events using one canvas. There's a lot of browns in here. Let's see. This one is going to be, I think, the start of the tree. I mean, I've already started the tree, but this one goes there. I've already started the little tree. You can see some of it. Okay. 
right, let's go to the next one. Let's see, 792. See what color that I need. And I will pop a picture in so you can see what the artwork looks like. And I'll also put the links in if you're interested in doing a heaven and earth design. Nine, eight. I really want to do I haven't I have another one that's a princess panel from Jaded Gym Shop. I would love to start on that one, but can't do it all at one time. Okay, Dawn says, thank you for hi Debbie, thank you to you, Angie and Kim, for doing this event. I absolutely love the moon in your painting. It's so beautiful. That is my all-time favorite Josephine Wall painting. I'm hoping to buy it soon. Happy diamond painting, Dawn. So we are all three, Angie, Kim, myself, we are having a really good time with this event. And it's really nice to have somebody else to do this event with. So we're not doing it by ourselves. I need to move that one up one, which makes it super nice that we are not trying to do a large event like this because I don't think any of us realized how large this event was really going to be. And it's been so nice getting to know a lot of people in our events. The next one is from Kim. Love what you've done so far on your painting, Fly Me to the Moon. So thanks so much, Kim. Then we have from Polly, there is nothing more beautiful than the moon over the ocean. I totally agree. When we went on a couple of cruises years ago, one of my favorite things on the cruise was to do is to watch the sun go down over the ocean and just sit outside and just relax. And it was just so nice and calming. You could hear, you know, the ocean and it just didn't get any better than that. We just, we had a really good time. And at seven, where's seven? Okay, here's seven. And then we got up a couple of times, not very often, but we got up a couple of times and we actually watched the sunrise. And that was really nice too. And then we ended up going and taking a nap because we just, we were just up way too early for the sunrise. I've gotten this one. Come on. Let's see. We have from Sandy. Wow, Fly Me to the Moon is going to be gorgeous. I'm working on Taurus right now and loving it, though not quite as extensive as yours. When Diamond Art Club had the licensing for Josephine Wall, they came out with all of the zodiac signs. And I just bought the one, and that was Aries, because that is my sign. I didn't buy any of the others, and I thought, oh, I'll have plenty of time to get it. I'm not going to worry about that right now, not knowing that they were not going to renew her license. If I would have known that, I would have gotten all of the signs for my family that did not know that. And I could go and probably hunt them down, um, but I just decided not to. Let's see. The next one was from... Marvina, I really like your kit. Fly Me to the Moon is beautiful. I'm working on Titanium Oberon. It's a baby one from Diamond Art Club. I wouldn't call that one a baby one. It's a good size, or it was for me. I finished that one this year. Maybe it was the end of last year. And it's really pretty, but it took me about four months to finish that one. That one was a lot of wasn't so much as a lot of colors. I think, well, it may have had 65 colors or so, 
but it was just large. It had a lot of confetti. It was really pretty, but it took me a long time. And it is one of my favorite ones that I completed. And that one's a lot of color. That was also, if I didn't mention it, from, that was from Diamond Art Club. I think I did say that from her, from the comment. I still have a couple of Diamond Art Clubs left. I really wish that Diamond Art Club or another company in the U.S. would pick up Josephine Wall. It would be really nice. I don't think it's going to, I don't want to say it's not going to happen, but I think that it would be so nice if it did. That way we would have more options because the shipping can get really expensive. And I know the same thing for all of you with Angie, her shipping, I thought my shipping was bad. And I told her, I said, after I heard about your shipping and how bad your shipping is, I won't complain about shipping anymore because she is in Canada and her shipping is crazy crazy expensive and some of the items that she was looking at one time it was more for shipping than it was for the actual product and that's just so hard to justify for me anyway okay I didn't see that bottom one that one there all right let's go to another comment Dip in Time says, hello, hello, congratulations to your student. Fur babies are so sweet. So looking forward to your progressing through Jay Wall's Fly Me to the Moon. And I'm always talking about my fur babies. For those of you that may be new, I have a cat. Her name is Salem. She is mostly black, but she does have some white underneath her stomach area. And I have two dogs. Oh, and Salem will be eight on Monday. So she's having a birthday. I have two dogs. One is a Collie. I need to get my other. Let me reach over. Sorry for the reach. I hope you can't see my head. Okay, moving these over, changing these out. This is an art dot container, but I can't spread out like I normally would because of me recording. Okay, I need 3012, but Molly is a Collie and she will be three in September. Oh, I do this again. I'm so used to putting out a lot of drills that I just put this out here and no need because I only need a one that goes here. But she will be three. She is a typical Collie. Collies are working dogs. And she's always trying to catch the squirrels. Or she's always running around doing major zoomies in the yard. what I like to call it. She just runs for no reason. And she'll just start barking. She likes to bark at birds. She barks at squirrels. We have a lot of chipmunks in our yard. She barks at chipmunks. She found a snake the other day, which I am absolutely terrified of snakes. I mean, absolutely, I don't care what they are. To me, a snake is a snake. It can be a small little wormy looking snake, or it doesn't matter. To me, it's like an anaconda. It is absolutely huge. I do not like snakes. So she was barking, having a fit, and stupid me, I was, went outside and I'm like, what are you barking at? So I looked over in some, some leaves that my husband had put in piles and I saw something. And I jumped back. I started yelling at her. Well, of course, that got her upset because I wasn't yelling at her. I was just trying to get her to go back. And it was on the other side of the gate. So it wasn't next to her. I don't know anything about snakes. I just know I don't like them. So it did not make any difference to me if it was poisonous or not. Of course, I wouldn't want it to be, but it was scary enough and it looked rather large. So I got her in 
and I didn't mean to scare her, so I had to calm her down. She was kind of frazzled. My other dog came flying in. She's a little sheep who she weighs about 10 pounds and Molly and Zoe are best friends. Zoe is now 12, well actually 13. And she just turned 13 in March. So she's going, you know, really strong, but she's 13. They are best buddies. And it's really funny to see this 70 pound dog play with a little, I would say she's about 12 pounds. 12 pound little sheep who, but they play so well together. And she made sure that Zoe was in, she made sure I was in, she started barking like crazy. She wanted to go outside. I wouldn't let her go back out. And so I ran out and it was gone. I saw it slinking away. I was trying to take a picture of it so I could tell my husband exactly what it was. And so then I ran, I Googled it, looked it up, see what kind of snake it was. And it was just like a little garden snake, but as I said, there's there to me, it doesn't matter. It is just, it, I just don't like them. I think it just, I don't know. I don't see how these people can have snakes for pets. And if you can more power to you, I just can't. Let's see. I'm scooting these over. I've gotten some of these sideways and it's because I am sideways, but it's all good. So that's my fur babies. And our cat is an indoor cat only. She loves to look out the window. And we definitely have our windows cracked so she can do that. So that is my fur babies. And then let's see, Gabrielle says, Thank you for hosting. I love your Fly Me to the Moon canvas. I'm working on Spirit of Flight. And Spirit of Flight is a really pretty one too. I'm really enjoying seeing everyone's different paintings and even some that are some that I have seen before, but they may be from like different companies. And so that's really fun to see how um, we have the same rendering, but different paintings. All right. Got one more on this color. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Now let me change colors again. I'm towards the end of this one. I'm now at 38.62. All right, let's see. Diane's Diamond Painting Journey says, this is going to be such a great event. I love the way the moon is looking on your canvas. And we are having a really good time with the event. And again, if you're not part of the event, if you would like to be, you have until the end of April to join. And we also have a Facebook group. You do not have to be in the Facebook group to be in the event. You can always contact myself or you can contact Angie or Kim. I will put their information below and you can just send one of us a photo of your start and we can get you started on it. Then we have Jess Diamond Paints. The moon in your painting is already looking amazing. I just completed my first row on my J wall. Jess is a very fast diamond painter. So more than likely, because this was on April the 2nd, I am sure she's gotten a lot of hers already done. She really focuses and she has certain sections that she wants to get done. I don't know if it's on a weekly basis or daily basis, but I love following her on Instagram because she is very fast. Um, let's see. Carol says, I looked at Fly Me to the Moon kit, but decided to go for Never Tickle a Sleeping Dragon, J Wall DP instead for the event. I really like that one. It is a lot of green though, um, because the dragon is green. So I'm not sure if I would really like it or not. I think I would. But I am missing one. But that's one it is on my list. 
I just didn't know if I would be able to go through all that green. I'm sure that I could just for the fact, oh, I missed that one, just for the fact that I'm doing all of the, the blues right now. 7.30. By the time that I finish the moon for Summer with the Masters and finish my J wall, I'm going to want some other color besides blue. Okay, so I've got those two. I'm missing a couple that I did not get. So let me see what that one is. One here. I'm missing two that are right. What is this? Four. Go four, and it's that one. Okay, that is. Number 938, okay? That's one of the reasons why I really want to use the app, Pattern Keeper, is because if you miss one, you can easily go back and see which one you missed. This is 938, which is right here. If I were to use just the paper version, I think it'd be really hard to see what I've missed. So let me get these in here. Let me know underneath the description if you like me going through some of these comments as I am diamond painting. And this will get faster. I'll be able to do more than just one little section. I'm used to doing six sections at a time, but trying to talk and do this hasn't been something I'm going to have to get used to. So maybe in the next two to three videos, when I am getting a little more comfortable with talking and doing this, I can do more sections. I'm hoping by next week, next time that I do this for next Saturday, I will be at the end of this row or column, I guess. I don't know why. I have not had any problems with popping until now. And it's because of, I just lost a drill. It is because of this glue dot. I'm really wanting to use glue dots for single placing instead of using the wax because sometimes the wax does get on or it can get on your drills or it gets in between drills and it's really hard to come off. But I don't know if glue dots and I work very well together. I'm a very hard diamond placer. I press down really hard. And so that could also be the problem. So let me show you what I've done. Can't believe it's taken me this long to do one small little section. But again, I will get faster with this. I hope. Let me take this out some so you can see bring that in. So that is how much that I've gotten done. So you can see up here, now I can clearly see a tree. And then down here, I'm starting to see another little tree. And then there's another branch. So all I have to go, got this much left to go. And when I get down to the bottom here, there's like five or six here at the very bottom. I'll only use two of those and then I can go back up to the top. So really only have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. I have 10 of the 10 squares to do. So I really have 20 squares left. So I'm hoping that I can get that done before next week. You can see how this is looking and then I'll be able to go up to the top. 
and that will get me moving a little bit. So as of today, I have done 2,000, let me move this down some so I can see it. I have completed 2,499 stitches out of 75,400. So I have 2,499, what that means is drills that I have down and I'm now at 3.31%. So if I want to get to 20% by the end of the year, I've got a lot of drilling to do, but I can do it this summer. I can get some more of this done. I really like how it's coming out. I really love this tree right here. So at least it is looking like something. And to me, this almost looks like a face, almost like the Wicked Witch in uh, Wicked, or, you know, in, um, actually, because she was really, she was a lot greener in um, Wicked in the play. So to me, it looks like Wicked. But tell me what you guys think. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so and click on that notification bell so you are alerted for future videos. Thanks so much and have a great day. Happy diamond painting. Bye.